Scanning probe microscopies, such as scanning tunneling and atomic force microscopies, have become the eyes and the hands for directly exploring the nanoworld in a wide range of environments. They have allowed us to image and understand surfaces, interfaces and surface phenomena, to follow up dynamic processes and surface reactions at the atomic molecular level. STM is based on the quantum phenomenon of the tunnel effect, in which electrons can penetrate potential energy barriers. In this technique, a tunneling current can be established through a barrier gap by locating a sharp conductive tip at few angstroms away from the sample and by applying a voltage between tip and sample. The tunneling current is directly proportional to the applied voltage. The local electronic density of states close to the Fermi level and exhibits an exponential dependence with a gap distance, which is the key for the high sensitivity of the SDM. The lateral and vertical nanometric control of the tip of the sample is performed by a piezoelectric system and an electronic feedback control. While scanning the surface, the tip is raised and lowered in order to keep the tunneling current constant across the surface, reproducing the surface topography. STM exhibits unprecedented lateral and vertical resolution. However, it presents the limitation that it is only applicable to conductive or semiconducting surfaces or compounds which can provide high electronic density of states. With STM, one can image topography and surface dynamic processes with atomic resolution. The slide shows terraces and steps of silicon and graphite. By zooming onto a terrace, the atomic organization of the materials can be readily achieved. The slide also shows the in situ monitoring of an electrodeposited silver layer on gold as the potential is negatively scanned. The self-assembly process of alkanethiols and aromatic compounds on gold are also illustrated in the slide. Atomic force microscopy was born as a natural desire to extend STM capabilities to non-conducting materials. AFM relies on the use of a tip mounted on a cantilever which is brought into close proximity to a surface where intermolecular forces acting between tip and sample cause the cantilever to bend. The TIMP sample forces are tracked by the deflection of a laser beam focused on the cantilever, which is collected by a photodetector reproducing the sample topography. This technique can also achieve very good spatial resolution and resolve interaction forces with picker-newton sensitivity in a wide range of environments. The type of interaction force, attractive or repulsive, depends on the tip sample distance as shown in the slide. The first development of the AFM was based on measuring the repulsive forces by contacting the sample with the tip. Since contact AFM mode can cause substantial damage to soft samples, a semi-contact AFM mode was developed. Such intermittent contact AFM mode is accomplished firstly by oscillating the cantilever near its resonant frequency and then by bringing the tip towards the sample until it begins to slightly tap the surface reducing its oscillation amplitude. The reduction in the oscillation amplitude now becomes the feedback control signal, which can be used to follow the surface topography. Organic chemistry and biology have collected invaluable benefits from this technique, which has allowed the investigation of the structure and dynamics of many polymers and biological systems, in real time and in air, liquid or physiological conditions. The capabilities of these techniques have gone even beyond imaging. They are powerful tools for evaluating local physical chemical properties, such as mechanical, electronic, magnetic and chemical properties, and also the hands for matter manipulation and nanofabrication with unprecedented high resolution. For instance, AFM in contact mode can be used to simultaneously obtain topography and conductivity mappings of materials by applying a voltage between a conductive tip and a sample. Force spectroscopy, which consists in evaluating the forces during tip approach and retraction, allows extracting information of mechanical and adhesive properties. When the tip contacts the sample and presses on it, one can get the mechanical properties of the materials. When the tip is retracted, a hysteresis can appear, since the tip may be stuck to the sample by adhesion forces. Thus, such hysteresis can provide information on hydrophilic hydrophobic domains, charge interaction, receptor ligand bindings, acid base properties, etc. In summary, 
These scanning probe microscopies have given birth to a new scientific era marked by emerging fields of nanotechnology and biotechnology. Without doubt, they have provided key tools for seeing, probing and manipulating the nanoworld, allowing new and fundamental insights for a broad spectrum of scientific disciplines.